In FC24, I love testing myself to build the craziest teams in the world in a short amount of time. I'm going to go on a brand new account and build the maddest team possible in just three hours of FC24. I have got nothing in this club. For cheap and fast, reliable FC24 coins, check out MMOEXP, the link is down below, and use the code MATHD to get 5% off all of your orders. Three hours is beginning now. Right, I've got an 85 plus rare gold player pack, guys. These are the first players going into the new... Oh! In form, in the very first pack. Now, we do all get an 85 plus pack, guys. 85 in form, I use it. He's going to be the first player going to this three hour RTG today. Straight away on this new account, I have actually got these future star packs now these are going to be massive as you might be wondering what's the best way of building the most ridiculous squad in three hours that's where we head over to objectives for the amazing fc fantasy cup yes we're going to spend our time guys on this brand new account to unlock the best packs from the game right now and complete the fc fantasy cup with hardly anything in my club this is by far the most efficient way to get an amazing team right now and i want to show you guys what you can do in only 180 minutes, guys. Two football matches of time into this new account here today. Okay, Ayu is the first player in the squad. Can he play striker? That'd be brilliant, no. But he can play left wing. That's good to know. Obviously, these future star players, guys, are most likely going to start for my RTG squad here. I think they will have to. And we've got some good players. Sergio Gomez there is a good player. We've got Vava as well. These players are going to be very much needed for this RTG. Don't forget, the quicker we can get these wins... The quicker I can open packs and upgrade this team along the way as well. We have also got Future Star Academy midfielder players, guys. Skip can go into the squad. Okay, guys, this is the squad I managed to create in five minutes, four minutes actually, of Ultimate Team. It's going to be this Future Star squad to start things off. I can't wait to see what we can go from this team to maybe even Icons in the final squad. Don't forget, we can also unlock Fernando Torres and even more. And there it is. The squad's ready to jump into the cup. Get all of these packs unlocked for this squad. Let's go and improve this team in just three hours. Here we go. Fantasy Cup begins. First game. This guy's got Michael Balag, Govu, and already got Fernando Torres. What a pass. What a pass, bro. What? Yes. I didn't even score that, but great goal, guys. Yeah, Okafor does not miss those. Come on! It's bound to happen, guys. My defense is woeful. <laughs> what a save, Simon Mignolet. Ha! He was never that great in real life. He was an okay keeper, but that was it, let's be honest, guys. What a pass. All these goals are massive, though. Don't forget, we need 40 goals overall. That's a massive goal right there, guys. First game done, though. We get a win against a really strong team. And considering my team is just on the floor, this is a nice start. Brilliant. 83 plus 2. I won't lie, guys. These players are most likely going to go straight into my squad. I've got 2 hours and 40 minutes left to do this. So I could do with some good luck here. Please give me an FC Fantasy Canate. Belgian. I'll be the Bocotois. No. Who else is in the pack, though? That is an upgrade to my team still. It's all about the second player, B. Kyle Walker. Come on. I mean, she might actually start. I've added in Castiles. However, the rest of the team, I think is, I think it's clicking. I really do. Don't have any great players. Mignolet. Oh, we've got a Simon Mignolet Appreciation Society. Oh, what a goal. Who just scored that? Oh, wow. Who is that? Brian. Yeah, we don't miss those. However, this guy is too angry to carry on. He is so angry, he's turned his console off. <laughs> As we go along here, we can improve the team. So I could do with a walkout here. Like, Bellingham would be amazing. Spanish, set oh, be Barcelona. Parejo, I don't... I mean, I could start him. I could start him. Either way, though, we can also complete SBCs. Busquet is going to remain in the Fodder Hall of Fame. However, we can add those players into SPCs eventually to improve the team even more. Next game, this guy's also got a few future stars. He's in the same boat I'm in here with evolving players as well. I like this guy a lot. He's got Paul Pogba. He's what? Wait, Paul Pogba's got an ultimate team card this year. Okay. 
Bang. Athena, guys, never misses. Somehow this guy is recognized, guys, in the top right corner there. I'm not sure if you can see it. <laughs> I, I love this guy. No idea how he's this dedicated as a subscriber. Love that. How the hell did he know? Right, he's just rage quit. So fair play to this guy. He quit. This guy was way better than you might have expected. He was a very good player there, guys. I'm happy with that win. Now, that does mean, though, another pack for the account. Oh, no, it doesn't. We get a kit instead. Comment down below. Do you guys like getting kits for rewards? Or should rewards always be packs and nothing else? No TFOs. Let me know. Here we are, guys, into the next game with two hours and 21 minutes remaining. And some of these teams are, I mean, to be honest, every single team is better than mine. Now, we're 3-0 this rate, and we get a lovely goal there. And straight away, we get a rage quiz. So right now, guys, I'm at 4-0, only 40 minutes in, about 20 minutes in after maybe gameplay started. So really has been a cracking start here sounding more and more like my man and my two guys good friends to sing by uh, you know as the hours goes on anyway italian striker could only mean one player there juventus it's going to be a walkout girelli 86 rated don't forget any good players i get right now can go straight into my new three hour road to glory here today remember three hours to beat ultimate team in terms of the fc fantasy cup we need to complete it in that time frame now all the other players though can go straight into a 83 plus 10 they can go into maybe icon player picks if they release them or whichever good species are out there now in order to get to five and zero guys we do have a bit more of a tough game here in terms of the fact that another time waster ea when are you ever going to fix this like it's the biggest problem with this game right now last weekend league i kid you not i had five people quit at nil nil i had two people quit at one all and another guy quit at four all so eight quits at you know drawing in the game you don't get given the win if you didn't know you actually used to so this really is just bizarre to me anyway next game we're still undefeated now i am not expecting to go undefeated here especially with my like star players from future stars they're all like 80 rated guys i don't expect to go 20 and zero however if we do hit the like button guys it really helps the channel out and it motivates me even more to do more videos like this now i am on the lookout though guys for more videos similar to this in terms of time frame content if you guys have any ideas do let me know i also want to make a video on something along the lines of trading so maybe we can do like you know what's the best team or how many coins can a professional trader make in one day of ultimate team something along those lines but honestly guys i'm always open to ideas i want to be doing this kind of content daily and you guys seem to be enjoying it as well anyway next game in the fc fantasy cup and we get to a good start there with a nice few goals and we make it 2-0 and we're already at 7 and 0 guys i mean look at this start this is honestly such a fast-paced start i kind of forgot though how many people actually do rage quit the game when they're losing 1-0 in this game mode i kind of you know don't always understand because we all need goals that is the biggest issue in order to complete this challenge here today building the best team possible we do need to get all of those goals in and these kind of games like this one though do help if we got you know two goals per game that would complete the challenge now already i'm three nil up in this game make it four nil it was a proper just demolition derby in this game and now guys i'm at eight and zero remember i have a horrendous team here and we're just dominating an ultimate team today i don't know what it was but we were just cooking on this gameplay video guys today anyway cam man city it's going to be a walkout 86 rated Rod. he's got a nice card in game and you know these you know plus four rated cards compared to 82 rated players here have got are such a massive upgrade and it's exactly what you want in ultimate team in this cup mode you need those quick walkouts to improve your team fast and that is what we're exactly doing however i can't wait though to see what team we can build now again guys i got another nil nil rage quit still not understanding that because it doesn't really benefit him at all he doesn't get any goals i don't know why people quit in this game mode anyway another game and another win i'm not joking i'm still undefeated with this team we're nine and zero now comment down below have you guys played the fc fantasy cup do you think it's the best thing to happen in months on this game just comment down below guys let me know your thoughts and what record did you go 
in this mode now next game this guy actually gets off to a nice start here gets the ball there to a striker Haaland and then honestly I just need to just do a lot better here I can't be giving away easy goals like that so a bit of adverse here in this game however who else but Kolo Muani he makes it one all near the end of the game and then a really calm finish there as well by who else Kolo Muani again it's those kind of players who you are used to a lot in this game that you can just get some quick wins with now there you go guys 10 games in we're 10 and 0 we have not lost a game yet and we're feeling like a professional player at this stage and we've unlocked fernando torres so I, I really wanted to bring you this video because i think it's fascinating to see what team you can build from this awesome and i really mean this amazing game mode in ultimate team three hours to do this i think we could even do this in two hours potentially that could be an idea Either way, though, Fernando Torres, guys, goes into the starting 11. How could I not? One of my biggest favorite football players ever in the history of this game, being a Liverpool fan. If you were around, guys, to see prime Fernando Torres at Liverpool, wow, you were lucky in that, like, 2007, 2009 period. Man, he was awesome. Anyway, 11-0, guys. We still have not lost yet in this game mode, and we are plowing through the games like a mad one here today. Seriously, are, and we've come up against another better team this guy's got Yaya Torre Fernando Torres he's got great players all around I believe there might have been Politano or Lozano right wing anyway we get a goal and look at that guys another rage quit we might be on for an incredible speed run here and I can't believe how many RTGs we do right now I'm really enjoying them oh here we go Man United badge now guys you don't know if you haven't seen house tour video today we live in Merseyside right we live not far from Liverpool I used to live more in the center now but out on the outskirts however there's one rule of thumb never come on never support man united guys in the liverpool area you just don't do it i've got a few friends who are brave enough who are still living in merseyside guys and i can't believe i mean if you're from manchester and you support liverpool it's the exact same thing you I mean obviously you can you know it's just banter but you are brave the other day i dropped ralph off a nursery you know as i do a few days a week he loves it and he's perfect awesome however there was a Man United rucksack next to Ralph's Liverpool bag. Guys, I'm not joking. I really just had to take a deep breath and think, oh, keep calm. This, that, that rucksack is, yeah, it, it's got the badge on. It's got the Man United badge on. <laughs> what would you do, guys, as a parent, if you saw? There it is again. I can't get away from it. The Man United badge in the Liverpool area on, like, a peg or something. Let me know. I, I think I was good in the end, obviously, but, man... Had to, uh, you know, rein in, guys. The rucksack was nearly on the floor. <laughs> right, Luka Modric. We get Mary Epps there as well. We've got an hour and 25 left. Don't forget, you know, packs obviously count towards the team in terms of the time frame as well. So hopefully, we're going to get some cracking pack. Look, now, the gameplay for me was okay. Bit of a pro tip here, guys, and I really do mean this. I have seen significant increase in my gameplay speed by doing this trick now listen carefully it's very easy to do all you guys need to do is change your camera settings to 15 and then zero do that and your gameplay should be quicker i've been doing it for champs it has helped quite a bit and it's been a bit consistent as well you know it's been a bit more consistent gameplay consistent gameplay speed so yeah guys maybe you want to try that out for yourself now i did get myself three 83 plus player picks don't forget i've got so much fodder in this club right now that it is a bit of a joke in only three hours we've accumulated so many fodder cards it's wild anyway 13 and 0 what a finish by the way from Kolo Mwani he is actually still a meta player and I'm not even kidding that guy is unbelievably good in game super fast I think he might have five so skill moves correct me if I'm wrong or maybe his evolution did either way great card for Kolo Mwani now in this pack guys we are different playing the game, obviously, in this RTG today. However, it did not pay off. The 84 plus fives have been so bad for me. It's crazy. Now, next game, we do get a bit of luck there with that goal there from Fernando Torres. Who else? The considerable upgrade you have, by the way, having Fernando Torres in your team compared to, you know, some of the goal players I had, even like Girelli, is major. It really is. I feel like icons do feel like legends from in FIFA 14 days. If you guys never played... FIFA 14, they only had legends on the Xbox console. 
and back then and let me tell you man they felt incredible they were so rare to have though you hardly ever played against them compared to now where every player on the planet seems to have a 97 rated squad in foot champions anyway next game fernando torres there with a very very silky traveller and one hour and four minutes remaining we advanced to 16 and zero in the fc fantasy cup that guy was actually on pc as well so we have another team which is going to hopefully get us to 17 and zero and fernando torres guys does not miss once you get this card you'll be laughing i really like this cup though i think it's the best thing they've added to the game in quite a long time i like it a lot and in terms of the more pack rewards you know i don't mind actually opening these packs as we go along normally i'll open them at the very end but honestly it improves the team as we go along in the cup it allows me to have some better gameplay we can have hopefully some better goals why not open these packs now because we can improve the team as we're competing in the cup and let me tell you guys we need to definitely compete in this cup now we do get the one and only oberdorf 87 can confirm her team of the year card was absolutely great during january now center back though it's going to be another walkout and a double it's going to be a there from barca and lavelle 87 so again if they do not make the final team guys they are definitely definitely going to go into some kind of spc now with all the fodder we have got and received today from ea sports we do go and open another 83 plus 10. now the grind continues there in this 83 plus 10 upgrade pack with 58 minutes on the clock by the way we do go and pack carl 87 and you guys have seen say though how many people do rage quit from this game it is crazy however i have just got it completed ludwig julie from well the hero section and aspect of fc24 he goes into the final team and it's cool to have players like this to look forward to to go and try out i really like they've got him you know obviously can't use him in this cup however we can add in the addition of carl she gets into the right back spot don't forget though drb's been lovely color moani has been great there's so many fun players here that have been used however on to another big game this guy's got kevin de bruyne he's got okafor however i do get a quick penalty and a red card for his team and guys we are advancing to 18 and 0 in the fc fantasy cup from scratch by the way may I add this is honestly so much fun now can we though get to 19 and 0 wouldn't that be lovely now we have got a team there with Colin Mwani. however we've also got Colin Mwani. and let me tell you guys he never seems to surprise us uh, enough with how good he is he's just great in this game now i'll be honest this game turned into a major just score fest where he did stop playing eventually however at this stage it's currently 14 nil yeah this is the game where i got so many of my goals don't forget you do need 40 goals for this fc fantasy cup game mode in order to complete it he did not want to hang around in the end though and we got the win 14 nil guys that might be a record for this game now politano fernando torres he's got a nice team however how about a lovely clutch goal there guys with colo Mawani. not even needed there with fernando torres in the team however he rage quit and there you go guys my first 20 and zero in a long long time i know it's the cup it's not we can leave but still i feel like it's pretty cool and impressive to get that with these players every single team pretty much i think 19 maybe 20 of these teams were better we had 82 what do you call them evolution players literally in the team so it was a very interesting team to say the least now in this pack here we did go and get dudek not a good pack now the one thing i'll say i don't think during this video so far and i say so far you know we have got a lot of packs left i don't think we've got the craziest pack look so far is that just me even with some of these gigantic packs to open in fc24 anyway the grind continues as always with these videos it's going to be an italian left back and it's 84 rated so not really an ideal situation there the ultimate pack though right now guys it's hopefully going to give us someone insane and we get jamaica it's going to be of course sure the striker from city she goes into the team there and honestly like i really feel though that some of these packs could have been so much better whether it's the pack wave 
whether it's EA doing EA things, you guys can decide in the comments down below. What are your thoughts on my pack weight considering the size of these packs? Now, we do get a nice walkout. I believe this could be a triple or quadruple walkout. The chances are pretty high. 287 zone, no matter what, it's great. For upgrade player picks, if we do want to go and complete them, we actually get a bunch of walkouts. 487s make it five. So five walkouts there is probably at least what you'd expect. I've seen people get like 10, 11, or 12 in one though. Now, here it is. Another hero player pick completed on the three-hour account. We have got Joe Cole, Limonen, McManaman, or Berbatov. I'd actually argue every single one of these players was actually an underrated in real life i would probably say that if you guys agree disagree let me know people forget steve mcmanaman won the champions league in the same team as i believe zidane michael Ailey back in the day probably michelle salgado my god my my la liga knowledge back then was on point i mean i used to grow up watching so much spanish football every weekend guys i do miss those times anyway sent mid we get man city it's gonna be bernardo silva from an 85 plus 10 and of course fodder mr fod himself it's going to be Edison. So 288 rated walkouts there. Great for more upgrade player picks. We also get a player by the name of Stark and Shaw. So honestly, I did expect better from that one. However, I, you know, got to be honest, guys. This is literally what we got from three hours of playing this game. Tevez, though, is nice. And also, how about Cordoba? For those who don't know, one of the best ever Pro Evo players of all time. Him and Adriano, guys, and Ober Femi Martins are in the record books of that game now another one though how about a seven plus player pick you never know could we get like harry kane or bernardo silva i do though get reynard she's got a really nice card in game and in three hours guys already this team is looking to potentially be very very nice and there it is this is my friends my final squad for the three hour team i went and added my to the squad there and bought rash there with the coins we earn we have got cordoba at center back how about reynard center back we've got the sentiment that evolution i think that's a can be we've got ludovic julie in this time frame base fernando torres kundin angie at striker with her card there don't forget though as well we have also got 24 minutes on the clock there left so this is kind of wild the fact that i completed this actually a bit early so really it's more like a two and a half hour rtg but obviously we wanted to give myself enough time now we have got litman in the team we've got the left back, I believe that's Gomez. So overall, three hours, guys. What are your thoughts on my new three-hour RTG? What do you guys want to see next? The fact I've got 90 rated Julie, Torres, Cordoba in this time. I feel like this team is really cool. I like this a lot. Any improvements that you guys can make, let me know. We did have like maybe 10,000 coins left. However, I feel like the evolution cards are cool to add in. It's nearly a full special team as well. Anyway, hopefully you all enjoyed this new video, guys. Leave a like if you are enjoying these kind of, you know, content videos. Subscribe for more content. Have a very lovely time wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you on the next new video.